A cola dispensing machine is set to dispense 9 ounces of cola per cup with a standard deviation of 0.8 ounces. The manufacturer of the machine would like to set the control limit in such a way that for samples of 50, 5% of the sample's mean will be greater than the upper control limit and 5% of the sample means will be less than the lower control limit. Part A, first question. At what value would the control limit be set? Well, to answer this question, first we will go to uh, back to chapter 9 to find the confidence interval formula. The formula, as on the screen, is x bar plus or minus 1.65 times sigma divided by the square root of n. Now, x bar is the number of ounces per cup, which in this case on the question is 9. 1.65 is found by going to our standard normal distribution table, which is right here, and tracing what the z value is for 95% or 0.5. 0.95, sorry, which will be right there. We trace the z value is 1.65. Sigma is equal to the standard deviation, which is given in the problem, which is 0.8. And n is also the number of the sample, which in this question is 50. So if we plug in the values, control limit will equal 9 plus or minus 1.65 times 0.8 divided by the square root of 50. If you work out the problem, um, you'll notice that the answer is control limit equals 9 plus or minus 0.9. If you go ahead and work that part of the problem out, you will find that the control limit set is 8.81 and 9.19, which is the answer to part A of the question. B is what is the probability that if the population mean shift to 8.6, this change will, be, will not be detected. The uh, mean is 9.0, but shift to 8.6, but do not reject a new hypothesis, so type 2 error. So G value, G value is, formula, formula is 8.81 minus 8.6 divided by 0 .0, 0 0.8 divided by root 50 so is 186 186 is 186 is gonna be 0 0.4686 but g is greater than 180.6 so we have to know this area so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4686 is answer is 0 0.0314 okay. Okay. okay part three of the question is asking what is the probability that if the population mean shifts to 9.4, this change will not be detected. And so, since your probability, you know, is at the 9, and then you're saying it's shifting to 9.4. But you, what you're doing is you're not rejecting something that's false, and that's why you're making a type 2 error. Uh, you use the formula for type 2 error, which will be z equals x bar minus m1. Stand, divide by standard deviation, divide by the square root of n. So if you plug in your numbers, which will be 9.1, which will be, since you are saying 9.4, it's on the right side, you're using your 
upper limit minus 9.4 is the suggested mean divided by 0 0.8 which will be your standard deviation divided by square root of 50 which is the total number of your population which will give you a z-value of 1.86 you are finding the z-value because you are looking for a prob prob probability so if you look in the chart for the probability for 1.86 which will be 1.6 it's 0 0.4608 so since you're looking at only 50%, this area, whole area from 9, which is your original mean, to, to the 9.4, this is all the 50% area. That's why you're going to do 0.5 minus 0.4686, which will give you a, zero, a value of 0 0.0314. And that's this area. That's it.